They said I hated on them. I never hated on them. They probably mad cause I packed up my bag, I just couldn't keep waiting on them. Ain't nothing personal, just couldn't keep waiting on them. What's good, Dragon Ball Super fans out there? It's your boy uh, Rebel here back again with another video for you guys. Today we're going to be talking about Vegeta, my expectations, and if he will get a new transformation, basically. So we all that Vegeta has a second child now, and now with the second child being born, you know, he's really, really, really about his family now. Because we seen earlier when Vegeta, when Goku asked Vegeta to go, you know, fight for, you know, the little preliminary round. Vegeta said no, uh, Bulma would get mad if he left or whatever, things like that. So that just shows how like Vegeta is becoming more of a family man and becoming very prideful about his family. Like, you know, we seen it when um, Beerus slapped Bulma. You seen he go crazy. That's the picture from it, I think, really. He went crazy and got crazy strong. And people said at that point in time, he got stronger than stronger than goku so imagine what's going on now in this tournament this could be his opportunity to really become stronger than goku because now i'm not going to say that goku doesn't have nothing to fight for but goku isn't like vegeta in the sense that goku isn't really a family man like vegeta he isn't a really good dad he's just there honestly like he take he take care of his children when it's needed really but he put his own need and he put his own wants above his children and vegeta we haven't really seen vegeta do that as much so we already know that vegeta now is a better father than goku so with that actually being happen, with that being said sometimes when you have more things to like care about it can make you stronger and it can also be your your weakness but i feel like in this case it will be vegeta's like you know um, what you call it strong point like it'll be his strong suit and make him get stronger in this tournament he's gonna have to go all out to protect Bulma um bra or her, whoever the next child would be um trunks and the rest of the universe and actually he's gonna be seeing his rival get stronger at the same time making him stronger because you know Vegeta hates when Goku gets stronger than him and just strives to try to get stronger than him so now he has two things that makes him makes him want to get stronger his family and his rival being so strong and he doesn't want his universe to get destroyed because he actually I, I'm, I'm assuming he's really starting to like earth now because he's there you know so with the pride aside he's going to get stronger and that can that can become a new transformation or just a new pop like a new level of that same super saiyan blue but we know for a fact that he's going to be fighting his his hardest in this super in this tournament really he's really gonna be fighting his hardest but now i expect him i expect him to go far in the tournament him and goku to go very far not nothing less he cannot lose early because then shit just gonna get bad for goku in universe 7 and we can't there's no way you can save universe 7 without your, your second strongest fighter knocked out so i already know him and Goku's gonna go very far. I have a feeling Gohan is gonna go very far too. Maybe Piccolo also. But oh yeah, Piccolo also yeah, because that's the top four you really have to like put your put your hopes in. Piccolo, Gohan, Vegeta, and Goku. That's the top four you really need to put your hopes in. So they gotta go far. So I'm expecting Vegeta to go very far and do and not lose like this man. It could be crazy because he actually could be the last man standing if everything goes right because. Everybody's gonna be hating for uh, Goku, and nobody's really gonna see. Like, people might be surprised when they see another character with God powers, like Vegeta. You feel me? And that might not even get shown to like later or later on, if because we know Vegeta's a smart fighter. And also, everyone has already seen Goku has a Super Saiyan Blue form because he's gonna show. He's shown it already against Bergamo. He's gonna show it again against um, Topo. So everybody's gonna know that. Goku has that type of power, but they might not be expecting another character like that to have a to have that type of power. So Vegeta's actually could be, if he saves his power right, just shows like, you know, just Super Saiyan. Like everybody's like, damn, he can only go Super Saiyan, mopping people. Then when it gets really tough and difficult, you just surprise the fuck out of everybody and just turn Super Saiyan blue. Boom. You might just start knocking people out. And another thing, I now expect that Vegeta will be fighting Jiren. Um, because 
the little mistake of translation that they had that uh jaren was supposed to be topo or something like that you know things like that but i feel like he's definitely gonna be fighting jaren and it's gonna be it's gonna be crazy because i really feel like that matchup will be way better than a goku versus jaren because we know how serious we see from what we see we see jaren is a very serious character and vegeta is a very serious character like and now that you know his universe his family everything is on the line he's becoming more serious so that could give us a great fight right there two serious characters going all out is going to be crazy and if jaren is as strong as some people might think he is you know some people are really think he's strong because the way they convey him uh portray him in the trailers and everything and the pictures basically by putting him in the middle and in the front basically he might just be very strong so we gonna know that somebody else with super, super saiyan god power is gonna have to face him probably and i feel like a good person to face him is vegeta and if if not vegeta is gonna be hit it's either one or the two but i'm really looking forward to seeing vegeta versus jaren so like i said i really got high hopes for, G for vegeta i hope he does get a new transformation or a crazy power up because we know goku has the kaioken and that makes Super Saiyan Blue just real crazy. And there's a little theory that Goku might have mastered Kaioken, making him fucking strong, you know, like unbelievably strong. So who knows? He might just get some type of some type of transformation. He has to go to the hyperbolical time chamber right after Vegeta uh, Goku recruits him. I feel like Vegeta will go and step into that hyperbolical time chamber for a good you know they do have 40 40 hours to get ready so yeah messages like crazy sorry about that little pop up there but basically i feel like he's gonna be there for at least a good 24 hours in a time chamber just you know get very strong you know because now that he knows his universe is on the line his family his babies everything's on the line he's gonna go in there and try to get very strong he might just come out with some type of power up and that's i feel like this one where we're gonna see vegeta at his very strongest and very like he's really gonna show out for universe 7 so let me know what you guys think and what you guys expect from vegeta in this tournament leave your thoughts in the comment section down below and i'll check you guys later peace youtube